Hi everybody, Alexis here, Diamond Painting Therm 311, take two. I did some acrylics last night, the letters, and they came out really, 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 really nice. And I was going to show you guys them last night, well, I just did these off camera and they came out really nice. So I was going to show you how I did them today, okay? And it's just two colors. And I was videotaping, and then my tape just, you know, it got interrupted. You know, life happens, but isn't that e cool? So, I'm going to show you how I did these. We're going to do it again. Alright, so, I've done, here's the ones that I've done. I've done P and all the rest of those. You're not interested in that. There they go. Okay. But I'm going to show you how I got that fantastic look like the look in the E. Okay? And like the smoky, cool look in the A. And if you look at them from the side, if you can see that, see how cool that looks? You get that layer right there. And then you get that smoky layer. Yeah. See it on the side? Cool, right? Well, I'm going to show you how I did that. Alright. But, I have this mold here that I got from Walmart months ago. And I'm just curious on what would happen if I put a little acrylic in there with a little ink. Not going to waste a lot of my acrylic that I've already pre-mixed. Boom. Okay. So that you didn't have to sit and watch me mix this stuff for three to five minutes. It's nice and ready to go. So, I'm just going to pour like a little thin coat of this into this one, this one, this one, and this one. Just a little thin coat. And then I'm going to drop it with, uh, hit it with a little bit of, um, let's say, this is, these are the less resin inks. So, I'll just do different colors of purple in one. Okay, different colors of blue and another one, boom. Different colors of, let's say, pink and another one, because I have an abundance of pinks for some reason. And whatever these two crazy colors of red are right here and the other one, okay? Boom, not too many droplets. They've all been pre-shaken up and everything, but I just want to put little thin layers because I'm not sure how this is going to work. I've never used these molds. They've just been sitting, so I just want to put little thin layers. And this is how I got that marbling effect, so I'll show you what I did. Actually, this may end up using up this resin. I might just go ahead and do all of these, all six of these, yeah, I might as well, you know, just spread this around a little bit, I might as well, huh, Can you, you guys can't see that, so I'll just turn it this way, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit in to that one, and a little bit, oops, into this one. And they just say homemade, guaranteed homemade, and homemade. So, and this was originally for some soap. I'm not, it's not going to end up with a lot of resin in it. So, I don't expect any problems like really popping them out or anything. So, I just want to see what will happen. Something different, something new. I was going to fill in the letters, but... I can do those tomorrow and I've ordered a bunch of different stuff I'm gonna with for resin because I really it relaxes me when I do work with this so I know what I'm doing when I mess around with this okay let me put it that to you that way whereas with the paint the paint is still like you guys know I don't know what I'm doing with that but with this, you have to be very careful because it is a chemical. 
and it can get like ex you know hot ex you know really hot and it can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing so this ain't something you want to play with so I'm just going to drop this beautiful purple right here into this one I'm going to saturate it a little bit and that's all I'm going to put in of that color and to make sure I don't repeat I'll just put that color up bam drop in a couple of drops of the white Okay, and I know that it's not a lot of resin in there yet and it's really not going to be so you'll have to wait until tomorrow to see how these turn out okay and that would be all that I will put into that and then I would drop like maybe two or three more drops this is an experiment peeps a straight-up experiment I don't know how they're going to turn out, but you'll see them when I see them. Okay, because I won't come down here and tamper with them in any way, shape, matter, or form, because I don't want to mess them up. And I hope they turn out really pretty, you know. And what would be the point of coming down here trying to do anything to it? It's acrylic, you know. Boom, do it just like that. Just... I think I want a couple of more drops of white into that one. Bam. Okay. And then I'll just take this other pink. Go right on top of that white. Saturate. Just a little bit. Toss that one over there. Hit it with a couple of more drops of white. Okay. Come over to this, uh, I think I'm into the blues now. I got the blues. Uh, I got the blues. Uh, saturate. Put it over to the side. And this is all just mixing colors. Well, see, I'm not going to mix too many colors because if you do, you just end up getting a blob of purples, pinks, you know, no, really, you just end up getting a blob of blobs, no definition, no difference, no pretty marbling, you know, and you want some definition, you want colors that are just going to pop out at you, you want to look at it and go, wow, look at that over there, look at those colors, look at the way that's popping out at you, oh my gosh, that's what you want to see, you don't want to look at something and just go, oh, that's brown, that's beige, that's pink, that's purple. You know, you want to see different colors, but with this, you're going to just see the primary color of the pink or the white and the blue and the white. These colors are really, really very similar, so I might, you know what, with this one, I'm going to change that and not use that pink because it's too close to that color right there to that one so I'll go dark with a little bit there we go get that one a little bit more color and I like it if it has those little blind spots over in the side where you're going to be able to almost see through the acrylic pretty 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 okay and what other colors? Oh, I got some, I got some gold here. Yes, I like the gold. So with the gold, uh, I don't think I'll add anything but the white. And I think I'll do that in this one. Because it has such a strange reaction. when it hits the uh, the acrylic it has a really strange reaction actually no I won't even do that I'll just hit it with a little bit of black maybe yeah a little black 
and then a little white inside that black. Because that black being so heavy, it's going to sink down. Boom. And with this one, I am just going to do, let's go, yellow and white. So that they're all different colors. Yellows. That yellow right there and uh, this is orange yellow so ooh, that might be really pretty together boom 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 there's the layers of white and this is a yellow a orange yellow so and these yellows are usually very light so when they hit oh they just change things up Okay, and then with the leftover acrylic that I have, which is very clear, all I'm going to do is take it and from a little high up, I just run it over the top and I move on to the next one, run it over it. Move to the next one circles move to the next one maybe like that next one like that now that gold I might have to take and like run a skewer through it just to break it up because it is like really really powerful and just keep doing them like that and that's how I get that marbling on the side and it's just the acrylic is breaking up inside down there and boom and it cre recreates the design you're going to have to help this gold out some yeah I'm going to have to add like some white to that just to break some of that up. Okay. And then I'll take another, I'll take one of these and just do that. Okay. And that one will get the last because it's got the black into the acrylic it will get the last little swirly swirl and then what I would do I'm not sure how to handle these this actual mold so I'm gonna do this quickly because I don't want any air bubbles I'm gonna dig the way that one looks already I love that I love that I love that Okay. Amazon under $16. Heat gun. Because I would be afraid of the plastic. I would not want to take any, you know, thing to this with fire. Hit them all. Get in there. Get close. Go around the sides. Popping those air, those air bubbles. Go over the top. Get down in there real personal, go all around the sides. And if you get down in there real personal and you go around the sides, it will cut down on those bubbles that come around the sides. But don't hang around there too long because you will jack up your molds no matter what. It doesn't take flame to jack up your molds. And then bam, hit them high. And that is that. Now, all I got to do is let those just cure.
the same time the letters are curing down here. As you can see, I really do go into my Zen place. I am, my demeanor is totally different when I am working with my acrylic. I love it. So, tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, we will see how these all come out of these molds. I hope this comes out. I'm going to get it out one way or another. Okay? So, it's, it's really solid. I can actually lift it up and let you see how they look. You know, pretty cool. Pretty cool. And that marbling will go deeper and deeper as it settles. I'm kind of digging that one. I'm kind of digging that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, we will take them out of the molds tomorrow and see how they look. Might hit them one more time with the heat gun, and that'll be about it. But, yeah, let me do that right now. Bam, bam. And that's it. And that's how you do it. And I was using the last of my Arden Glow, I do believe. Yes. Yes. This is the last of this stuff right here. Oh, no. Yep, no. That wasn't the one I was using. It was the last of this. The Art and Glow. Because it's not expensive and I'm experimenting and playing and still learning and been just joking. Well, I've been messing with this stuff for about a year. So it's not playing and learning anymore. I'm, you know, just... I wanted to experiment with this. So I've got some stuff coming and I'm going to start making some jewelry and stuff because I really do enjoy working with the acrylic. I think I enjoy this more than I enjoy a lot of the other stuff I do down here because it just, I mean, come on, look, look, look. And I'm, I'm trying to figure out some stuff and how to use these, uh, these letters and what to, you know, how to craft them up. So I'm coming up with some stuff, but uh, my roommate has already placed her order, and she's like fucking demanding. So you know, I gotta go up here and and snap, snap, come on. I have to go up here and do some homework on how to make her a bracelet or whatever it was she asked for. A wolf bracelet. A wolf bracelet. I ain't got no butterflies coming because I don't like butterflies. So, um, I might have to order something in like a butterfly. Oh, I was going to order a bat. Like three bats. Oh, yeah, I got to go up here and look at it and see about ordering this, uh, this mold of these three bats because I thought it was just really cool. So, um, yeah, so... Uh, that's, yeah, I'm getting the bats. So, that'll be the closest thing to a butterfly anybody will get out of me. So, you know, yeah. You know, and I got some stuff coming. You, more than likely, you won't see me unbox it and take it out the box and all of that. But I will show it to you as soon as I take it out the box and I got it laid out. And some acrylic is mixed up and I'm ready to pour. Yeah, yeah. So that there's like, it won't be quick gratification, but it'll be 24-hour gratification. Because it'll be getting ready to get like, you know, acrylic poured into it and stuff. So, yeah. So this is how I get my marbling. And, you know, look, 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 look at that. Can you see it? Look. Can you see that? That's gorgeous. I mean, this is the letter E. The letter E. And that's just one color and the drop, the white. You know, a couple of drops of the white. This is the pink one. That's the pink one. That's the letter D. See, it looks like little pillows in there. Yes, this camera is doing it no justice. But it is absolutely gorgeous. 
I will uh, take some pictures of all of my alphabets because I've made them full size and small, you know, but I think they're gorgeous from the side. Look at that. Doesn't that look like an ice city? Yeah, kind of cool, kind of cool. So, yeah. So, that's what it looks like. Oh, that's a good shot of it. Now, that's a pretty shot of it. Really, really pretty. Yeah, so I'm kind of learning to, you know, like, get this 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 look down and things like that. And then I'll, I'm going to keep experimenting and, you know, doing different things. But, yeah, some jewelry is on its way and some different stuff. So, as I learn, as I grow, you and I both will know that I'm getting better at this. Ah, oh, that rhymes. But... Uh, I think that's about it, ladies and gentlemen, and tomorrow I'll shoot another video if my phone wants to act nice, and I will show you what these look like when I take them out of these molds. Hopefully these will come out without giving me a fight. I know these will come out, and you'll see what they look like using the exact same technique as I did with this one, okay? Except for I only used one primary color so if it was one bottle of this it was four drops of this maybe three drops of this so that was it to get this beautiful beautiful marbling on the side okay yeah kind of like it I like it a lot I like it I like it a lot but I really like the purple I really love that purple get in there look at that look look you can actually see through it in certain spots yes so look at that part looks like a little storm yeah or a little wave boom yeah so until tomorrow when I uh, unmold all of this. Look at there. Look at there. Yeah. Love it. So. And I can't wait for those other things to come so I can start making some pretty stuff. And you can we can sit and chit chat while I make some acrylic jewelry and things like that. And we can do some stuff. Some hippie jewelry. Okay. Because I want to be a hippie. All right. So until tomorrow, everybody stay safe, wear your mask. And remember, what do I always say? Hmm. What you put out there will what, what always come back to you. So let's put a little love, boop, a little peace, a little understanding out there and a little respect. Until we meet again, ladies and gentlemen, share this. Subscribe, give me the thumbs up, the thumbs down. But most of all, share with your friends. Tell them to come on over. I do all kinds of stuff here. Okay? I'm a crafting maniac. Yes. Psychedelic psychomaniac of crafting. I might have to change. Hey, don't nobody steal that. I might have to write that down. Might have to change my YouTube name. Hey. Hmm. Kind of like that. All right. Until tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, everybody, stay safe out there. Bye.